What is going on guys? This is Sumber the Two. Welcome you guys to another team prep video for the LDL, the Lonely Draft League for week five. Now, unfortunately, just because of time constraints and stuff, as you guys did see, I was able to team prep a lot or get even make a team prep video for that, which I do apologize for. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this over. Um and, you know, I do apologize for that, but like I've said a hundred times before, and I'll say it a hundred times more, school has to come first, and, you know, if that means I'm not putting up videos for a week or so, or for a week, or if I'm behind on a lot of videos, then so be it. But we are here now, and we are going to be facing Jesse and the Australian Auchinines. Um, I'm sorry for the glare as well, it's extremely late, and for some reason all the light bulbs in my in my house or like at least in my room have all burned out so i do apologize for that but uh yeah the australian uh arcanines very very powerful team jesse uh uh because of his name you know he lives in australia so because of uh because of the the time zone difference we've had a lot of difficulty you know uh planning this match but hopefully you know all should go well once we do uh once we do link up but let's go ahead and go over his team really quick. Let you, let you guys know my thoughts and stuff uh, as far as what he might bring, what he could bring, and just some, some stuff that's running through my mind. Uh, first off, it, uh, is he has Heatran. Heatran being an incredibly bulky and powerful fire steel type. Uh, yes, it does have that times four weak, uh, weakness to ground, which we do see that we try and prioritize on. Uh, but if he's running like an air balloon set or like he's able to get up a substitute, you know, that's extremely scary. Because um, just, I've just known, I've used the Heatran before in the past through VGC and stuff and he trying behind the substitute is something that you honestly do not want if you don't have the right mods to hit it with so there's that uh can also be a stealth rock setter can toxic it can uh willow wisp uh, I've seen a whole bunch of different things uh, being used with Heatran, so we definitely have to uh, be careful of that. Next up is Latias, a uh, very, very powerful, not as powerful as its uh, Eon counterpart of Latios, but uh, Latias is more bulky in the sense. Still rocking out with that, I think that base 110 speed, uh, Dragon Psychic, wonderful dual stab, able to run uh, the Soul Dew, I think, if we are allowing it. I'm not 100% sure if we are or not. I don't think we are this season, uh, but something to think about for sure. Uh, but. You know, it's able to Calm Mind if you want to run it physically, it can Dragon Dance. It's an extremely scary mod, and you know, with any mod being able to have uh, Z Crystals, you know, Heatran could really put in a lot of work, Latias can put in a lot of work, you know, with a Shattered Psyche, or even a Devastating Draco, um, it, you know, it's just really, really scary. Next up, uh, we have Azumarill. Azumarill is a Pokemon that I am actually really scared, scared about because uh, like a Bandit or even an Expert Belt or even a Belly Drum, uh, Azumarill just honestly wrecks our team. The only thing that it really doesn't wreck is... Um, is Vaporeon, which, you know, can eat up water type attacks, but if it has, you know, some attack boosts on and it can hit us with the play rough, you know, that's that's where it's gonna be. And you know, that we're we're really kinda screwed from from there on. You know, there are some things I can hit it with, but at the same time, Azumarill can honestly eat eat up some hits when it needs to. It can also be sap sipper to stop things like our superior uh, and stuff like that. So definitely a definitely uh, tricky set. Uh, tricky mon to work with, uh, to work around for sure. Next up is Azelf, and Azelf is another one of those scary mons as it can be a suicide lead with flamethrower and explosion, and I think it might even get stealth rocks as well, I'm not 100% sure on that, but that kind of suicide lead, he can honestly go out scarfed, uh, not, I mean, not scarfed, uh, yeah, not, yeah, choice scarfed, and, uh, explosion on us, and knock out one of our mons turn one, outside of maybe our bulkier mons, like, uh, I think Fortress might be able to live it, but the cap, but the damage that it would be, it would do to Fortress is extremely, extremely high, and you know uh, I've seen this thing go plus six before in the league. <laughs> I've seen this like like Azelf is a very, very scary mon, and it's super fast, and you know Weavile can definitely handle it uh, with things like knockoff and stuff, but you know it's something to definitely be scared of. It's something to definitely be scared of. Uh, and Polion, and Polions. Okay, uh, I'm not too worried about in the long run. Yeah, it's a it can be a bulky water type It's usually run more especially defensive, uh, but being steel type, you know, it's weak to ground which we carry a lot of um, weak to electric uh, Neutral to fire and grass if I'm not mistaken and so while well, it has some benefits being able to be a uh, defogger and a stealth rocker uh, maybe it can be physical with waterfall earthquake or special with scald and ice beam or something you know it's it's very it's either one thing or another with empoleon and in the long run i feel like i have tons of things to handle it so i'm not that worried about it uh glyscore this is a pokemon that i feel that can honestly just 
ruined me this week. Gliscor, uh, being able to have that poison heal ability and just sit on the field, uh, be being toxic and gaining health back is super, super scary. Uh, and, you know, Earthquake and Rock Slides kind of just destroy a lot of my team, which is, uh, it's, which is why I kind of brought some of the mods I did this week. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I feel like uh, having the right mons built the right way are gonna help us for sure. Uh, next up, Raikou. Raikou. Oh, Raikou. Rocking, I think, a base 125 speed, I wanna say. Um, hold on, let me pull this over. You guys don't see anything. Uh, we're gonna pull up just. We're gonna go to Smog on really quick because I can't remember Raikou's speed, which I should. Um, yeah, Raikou is base 115 speed, which is extremely, extremely scary. Uh, putting the specs on that thing, it'll be able to do really whatever it wants. It gets access to things like Aura Sphere for uh, Weavile, Extra Sensory. The only thing with that Aura Sphere is because it is an event like our Event Entei. It needs to be a, I believe it's a Naive or a Rash. I think it's a Rash Nature uh, with, I think, boost special attack but lowers like special defense so because of that he can't run fully like timid you know uh, base 100 speed so it could end up if he does bring that set we actually speed tie uh with entei which you guys will see later on that we are bringing um but super super scary mod hidden power is another thing because it can basically run anything i'm more so looking for hidden power ice it bringing this week because you know it handles quite a few of our mods if i'm quite honest uh but yeah, there's Raikou. Dusknoor. Dusknoor is just one of those really bulky mons that is somehow able to hit back extremely hard. Get access to all the elemental punches. It is a rapid spin blocker, so it's something extra scary to, to look at. Uh, can Will-O-Wisp. And, you know, just having that extra bulk around is super, super scary. And I'm not a hundred, a fully familiar with what Dusknoor can do, but it's honestly a mon to be scared, scared about. Komala. Komala is just another one of those mons that I don't know a lot about. I know... Um, when it comes to Jesse's team, I think either last week or the week before, he set up with Komala and honestly swept his opponent. And that's scary. That's honestly scary. I've never really known Komala to really sweep just because it's a new mon. No one really knows how to use it. But Jesse found a way to uh, sweep with this mon. And so I, I, I hope I have the answers uh, there for Komala this week. Uh, if he does bring it, I think it's just whittling it down. I don't think it has the best, you know, defenses that can take a lot of hits. So we'll have to we'll have to kind of be careful because I'm just not 100% sure of what Kamala can do. And Mega Heracross is his final mon on his roster. Mega Heracross, picking Mega Heracross up in the final round of a draft is just purely scary. Access to the skill link, able to get stuff like Rock Blast, uh, Bullet Seeds, uh, Horn Attacks, all that stuff that multi-hit moves automatically hits all five is scary because it, it, it definitely bullet seed handles you know our vaporeon and it handles you know rock blast handles our our joey galaxy it handles our entei and well it's not the speediest mon it can be built bulky and then still dish out those crazy amount of hits uh but with because of the change of mega evolution and um the speed drop i mean the speed yeah the speed change happening as you mega evolve that same turn it does get slower and we should outspeed it with a lot of different things but the fact that this mega heracross could come in and i really don't have a lot of answers to it is truthfully scary i, I think that if this thing does come and i don't have the right mon in something's gotta something's gonna die to it and so yeah that's that's his team uh, let's go to, let's go ahead and go over our team here um this week uh, first up, we are bringing our Joey Galaxy, our Thunderous Therian form. Uh, rocking out with Thunderbolt, Psychic, Nasty Plot, and Hidden Power Ground. Hidden Power Ground, of course, is going to be for stuff like that Heatran, uh, for that Raikou. This is a hit thing super, super hard. Psychic is there. Uh, you guys notice he's not actually putting in items. That We're going to be putting the Psychium Z move on him for that Shattered Psyche for Psychic. Uh, because uh, after, I think, a little bit of chip damage, uh, Mega Heracross just goes down. And we definitely outspeed Mega Heracross 100% of the time, as you guys do see. I am fully special attack, fully special uh, uh, fully special attack, full speed, uh, Tim in nature, just to guarantee uh, outspeeding those base 100 mons, just in case he does decide... Uh, you know what? I I know I said this earlier, 
I said Raikou was base 115 earlier. I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute idiot for saying that he'll speed tie with Entei. I'm sorry. It's very late at night. <laughs> so just scratch that. I'm pretty sure everyone, in, like the people that actually watch this, are going to be just like slamming their keyboards and stuff. But. Uh, but yeah, also Volt Absorb allows us to give uh, allows us a wonderful immunity to Raikou as well. Uh, we gotta just be careful with those hidden power ices, of course. Handles the Azumarill really well. I debated whether or not I wanted to put Dark Pulse on this thing as well. Uh, but then again, I, I felt like if I could get it in against, let's uh, say, the Empoleon or even um, the Raikou, and he's like locked, to, say, cho Choice Spec into Volt Switch or Thunderbolt, I could get a nasty plot off, and then I would absolutely destroy. And that and that's was was really kind of the set I was thinking of here. Dark Pulse would have been nice, but it just didn't do enough that I felt like it that we could have brought it, you know. Because uh, Thunderbolt does do a lot. Uh, Hidden Power Ground handles, you know, like I said, he turned Raikou. And yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun set. I debated whether or not I wanted Volt Switch for you know initiative and stuff, but it's like no, if I'm able to get up a nasty plot, I don't want to Volt Switch out. I've had that issue in the past with some t with some teams, and. I, I really just didn't want that this week, but Joey Galaxy, uh, really fun set. Uh, he'll hopefully he'll be putting in the work. Next up, we have our Milf, our Nidal Queen, coming back once again. Uh, Choice Scarf, Sheer Force, just because it, she does so much. I don't know what it is about this Nidal Queen, and this is why I really want a Nidal King. It it just do so much. Their wide move set is just so wonderfully beautiful that. Any like it can be set, it can be put into any position that you really want it to be, and that's what I love about this. So, Choice Scar for running fully special attack and uh, full full speed to guarantee doubt speed. Um, you know, non Scarfers on his team like the Raikou and stuff. But Earth Power handles the Heatran, handles the Empoleon, handles the Raikou. Uh, Sludge Wave handles things like the Azumarill if he decides to bring it, and we can live in Aqua Jet. Uh, can hit stuff like the. A uh, Tornadus? I didn't talk about Tornadus. Wow! I am just terrible tonight. <laughs> uh, pause on pause on the MILF. We'll come back to her, of course. But uh, Tornadus T, rocking an incredible 121 speed stat. Can be run uh, physically offensive, special offensive, can be assault vest, it could be a life orb, things, U -turn, things like U turn, knockoff, heat wave, uh, hurricane. Uh, I think it gets Dark Pulse as well. It's just a very scary variant uh, brother of a uh, Joey Galaxy. So something we definitely need to look out for. I'm sorry. I'm It's late. I'm a terrible. I'm a terrible recorder. But we're getting this in one shot and we're going to continue on. Uh, Sludge Wave just to hit things uh, for just uh, neutral damage. We have Shadow Ball there for the Latias for the Azelf to hit that. Super effective for the Duskinor as well. Uh, and Ice Beam, of course, for the Latias and the Gliscor and the Tornadus. I, this thing, I feel like if we can... I feel that if we can whittle things down to a point and we have the proper switches... Or even the, the proper sacks, uh, Nidal King can easily come in, you know, click Ice Beam, click Earth Power when she needs to, quick Shadow Ball when she needs to, and just wreck house. I feel like we could sweep with her this week. I honestly do feel that way. Uh, but uh, there, there is our Nidal Queen set. Next up, we have Percy, our Vaporeon, who is definitely different this week. Uh, I'm decided that when it came to his team, a lot of the problems I was having that Percy could handle were on the special side. And I was looking at, you know, I'm like, I'm usually thinking of a Vaporeon as a very uh, physically defensive Mon, you know, bold 252 attack, 252 speed, but you know, we're gonna rock out with a specially defensive, calm natured, uh, 252 HP, 240 um, special defensive with 12 in uh, defense, just to be able to live uh, those physical side hits from say, uh, uh, like the Kamala, uh, stuff from the Tornadus, uh, if it goes physical, and uh, the Empoleon, if it really decides to like run, you know, like Earthquake or something, just to eat up hits a little bit more. Deathstorm as well. Uh, Rocking Scald, of course, just for general stab. Ice Beam to hit stuff like the uh, the Gliscor, the Latias, and the Tornadus, just because I like it's like I wanted to run Protect on this, but Ice Beam was just so such a good move to have on Percy this week, just because of the issues that Tornadus and Gliscor especially uh, deal to me, that having that switch in there really does help. 
I mean, having that Ice Beam there really does help. I have Wish on there, of course, just to, you know, live hits longer, be, being able to pass it off, which is why I have Baton Pass as well. Like, say if one of our mons gets a little bit more weaker, we could definitely go ahead and pass that out. And, you know, Baton Pass is just one of those moves that I haven't really l used a lot. Uh, having negative priority being, for, uh, being able for us to move slower. Uh, so if like the person uh, like my opponent switches say if Jesse switches I'll s he sends in his mon I'll still be able to send get off the baton pass and gain the initiative or say if he attacks me I can have Percy eat the big hit and send in someone that could definitely handle uh, let's say the Azumarill or something or like the Latias if I if uh Percy's not going to be able to do the work or something, but so I'm hoping that this set really works out. I'm really scared. I'm honestly really scared to bring this set, but you know, uh, Vaporeon's uh, better defense is special defense, so hopefully Percy puts in the work. I'm I'm nervous. I'm excited all at the same time, and yeah. Next up, we are going to be bringing our Walnut once again. 252 HP, 252 defense. Uh, Relax nature, of course. Leftover is sturdy. The regular stuff when it comes to fortress. I need, I need to figure something else out when it comes to defensive walls, for sure. Maybe make a trade somewhere. I don't know. But we have stealth, stealth rock and spikes on there just for general, um, general damage on things like, especially 25% on stuff like the. Uh, the Tornadus, the Raikou, and then Spikes for a little, for everything else that can really uh, take the damage. And that really does add up over time if it's on the field and, you know, Jesse's switching Mons in and out, in and out. Now, that really does rack up damage. Rapid Spin, of course, because I feel like if he does bring in Polyon, he's going to be setting up rocks. I want to get rid of those at, at the most opportune time. And Earthquake, just in case, you know, Heatran wants to come in. I'm at full health. Uh, I can definitely weaken it. Uh, I get hit, I live on the sturdy, I earthquake it, that's time for so effective, and I can still do decent damage uh, to the Heatran. And stuff like the Raikou as well. I feel like I can even live a couple hits from the Raikou as long as it doesn't call mind and get off get off some good decent earthquakes, especially if it takes 25% from rocks damage. So that's our, 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 that is our fortress in a nutshell. And we're moving on. Coming up next, we have uh, Scat Scotty, our Weavile. Once again, she is here holding the Expert Belt. Uh, speed creeping on that Tornadus T at max speed. Uh, rocking out with knockoff to hit stuff like the Latias, the Azelf, the um, Gliscor to try and prevent any toxic orb stuff. Uh, Raikou for any specs, Dusknoir. Uh, Poison Jab for that Azumarill because we do outspeed unless it carries Aqua Jet. Um... Icicle Crash for things like that Latias, uh, stuff like that Gliscor, the Tornadus as well. Uh, the Mega Heracross, I think I do a buttload of damage to. And then Low Kick for Heatran, uh, primarily, as well as the Empoleon, because it both does a lot of work. So just this, uh, work all over. Uh, yeah, Scotty really does work all over the place. And with the Expert Belt, there there is that extra damage. I didn't want to run Life Orb just because of, just in case of Rock staying on the field. And Expert Belt, you know, I can still do a lot of damage, you know, probably fake the Scarf. Uh, and yeah, there's that. And finally, uh, making his return for one specific reason and one specific reason only. It's uh, our Entei Choice Banded uh, regular set that you, that you do see. 252, ooh, that is not that's not fully on there correctly. There we go. 252 attack, 252 speed, a sacred fire, iron head, extreme speed, stone edge. Entei this week is honestly meant to be there for the extreme speed. Uh, besides uh, uh, the Dusknoir and the uh, Gliscor, and possibly even the Empoleon, but I, I really don't see the Empoleon coming. Uh, and even the in the heat trend, those those three four mons, uh, extreme speed really do, like two shots a lot of things. And the extreme speed with the choice band is so powerful on some mons that it can do upwards of seventy five percent, sixty to seventy five percent. So if I get rocks damage and some spikes damage, or even rocks and some chip chip damage or whatever it may be, and you know I'm at the end of my rope and hopefully Gliscor and Heatran are gone, you know I could come in with Entei and clean up uh, maybe some other moves might, maybe Entei might be needed for other things like maybe a sacred fire for 
I don't know, like Mega Heracross. I mean, that's that's really the only other thing I can think of to bring Entei's because we outspeed. Uh, Mega Heracross does not want to take a Sacred Fire. It's 100% accurate. That 50% chance to burn slowly start to whittle down Mons. The only scary part of that is Heatran with the Flash Fire ability, uh, boosting his uh, special attack, I think, by one stage. But Entei this week is is supposed to be our cleanup, just in case Nidal Queen does not do her job. That extreme speed is there to help clean up where Nidal Queen did not. And so that's our team uh, for the week, you guys. We are unfortunately, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, 0-4. It's not been the best season for us. I'm really hoping that we can turn it around. Maybe just win every battle we have <laughs> the upcoming weeks. But next week we face Arthur. And the, uh, I think it's the Phoenix Sun Flores, I think the name is, of his team is. And, you know, the, his team is crazy altogether. We'll get into that next week. Uh, but hopefully, you guys should be singing this alongside the previous two weeks' battles uh, from week three and week four. I know, I'm sorry I didn't put them up. But like I said, school has to come first. School has to come first for me. So I do apologize about that. But if you guys are uh, happy uh, to see this, bat this video, uh, you know, please leave a like and a th please leave a thumbs up down the it's late. Please leave a thumbs up for your thumb bro. Uh, if you are new here and you like the, the content that you're seeing, uh, please smash that subscribe button. And also just so you know, uh, I do other uh, let's plays on my other channel uh, for the TLTPG for TLTPG, the uh, Pokemon group I am associated with who the LDL is associated with. I'll make sure to leave a link to them down below as well. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And let's cross our fingers. It's time for the Swamperts to get their first win. And I'll see you guys later.